TVO. Welcome back and let's go ahead and take a look at how warm temperatures are going to be getting not just across our area but across the region. So we're looking at our temperatures soaring thanks to our upper air pattern as we can see by these two areas right here, these two red arrows. We are pushing that warmer air into the area from the southwest from the Gulf of Mexico and it's spreading well off in towards the north. 60 degrees looking to be the highs out towards Kansas City as well as St. Louis and we can see how warm that is compared to the normals for this time year. Their normal is about 40 degrees and as well as 41 out for St. Louis, 21 degrees warmer out towards areas like Des Moines where it's normally about 31 degrees for the high temperature. So extremely mild across the Midwest, across the South, across a good majority of the country. Taking a look at our temperatures right now, a bit of a cooler start across our northernmost areas with some of us down below freezing for our temperatures right now, but elsewhere a very mild start to this time of year. Some of these temperatures were looking at right now are what you would see normally for the high temperature during this time of year. But the winds going to be a factor during our morning hours and they're going to get stronger as we head later and later into the day, but it's going to be moving warm air around. So that's why it's making more of an impact during our morning hours where we see these 10 to 12 mile an hour wind speeds making us feel like we are still down towards 21 in a tumble. 24 is the feel in Albia. Feels like 29 in Macon. So around the area feels like it is below freezing. But as we go in towards the afternoon, take a look at these high temperatures. Macon could be near 60 degrees, but co probably closer towards 57 degrees for the high temperature across the northern areas in towards the lower 50s. Very, very warm for a January day. And we're going to hold on to this as we head in towards tomorrow as well. Tonight's overnight lows, extremely mild for this time of year in towards the upper 30s, 38 degrees for a good majority of us, 37 out towards Unionville and Milan, 39 in Centerville. And that's going to lead into even warmer conditions for a lot of us. Widespread up in towards 55, 56 degrees, 57 in Edina as well as Macon. But we do have a cold front that will eventually make its way into the area as we head in towards Saturday. And that's going to have a bit of an impact. So what we can expect to see on our future cast, really not a whole lot. We're just going to be looking for strong winds over the course of today and tomorrow, especially tomorrow. Take a look at how quickly these wind arrows are making their way off towards our northeast. And then as that cold front comes in Friday night into Saturday, that's where we see these pocket of moistures forming along that cold front boundary. We can see where that is right where these winds are moving very, very quickly. Right there is where the cold frontal boundary is. And as it pulls in towards our area, it brings with it a couple chances for some very spotty showers. About a 20% chance for any type of precipitation is what we're expecting. And as for your extended forecast, taking a look at the weekend, we will see that drop in temperatures from Saturday into Sunday and even cooler as we head in towards the start of next week. But don't worry, we are ending January on an extremely mild note as temperatures rise right back up into the mid and upper 40s. Now stick with us. Tech Bites is coming up next.